Hey everyone, thanks so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be showcasing my whopping 21 hour journey in a Club World Premium Suite, which is how I like to travel, <laughs> on British Airways from Los Angeles to London and then onward from London to Johannesburg, South Africa. I was visiting my family in the LA area, so I flew out of the LAX airport. The check-in lines for economy were really long, but lucky for me, I was able to wait in a much shorter line because I was flying in Club World, which is considered the long haul business class for British Airways. The International Terminal at LAX is actually quite nice. It was demolished and then fully renovated a couple years ago, and I'm impressed. There are a lot of upscale and high-end stores, like there's an Hermes, a Gucci, a Burberry. It was really nice. The plane that I took was an Airbus A380, which is a double-decker plane. My seat was on the top level, so I had to take an escalator up in order to access my seat. When I boarded the plane, I had kind of mixed feelings. I mean, I liked that the plane was sleek and modern, but I thought that it was a bit crowded. And also, I did not like the fact that the window seats face backwards. I don't know, I, I thought it was weird. Let me know what you think in the comments. My seat looked pretty spacious and it turns into a fully lie flat bed, which I think is absolutely amazing. I was also provided with a pillow, some really nice linens and a thick blanket from the white company. Okay, don't judge me. I already feel kind of bad for saying this, but I am like really happy I didn't have anyone sitting in the seat next to me because I mean, look how awkward the seating arrangement is. You're staring directly at the person seated next to you. No thanks. So let's move on to the good part, the food. Okay, so fun fact about me, I'm a non-drinker. I don't drink alcohol of any kind, but for you drinkers out there, the offerings looked pretty extensive. I mean, there's a good amount of cocktails, beers, spirits, liqueurs. They even had a little mocktail section, which I totally appreciated. For the food service, three courses were offered. The starter was a summer quinoa salad. The entrees were a choice of roasted chicken or grilled North Atlantic salmon or rigatoni pasta. And for dessert, they offered white chocolate mousse and a cheese board. Once the flight attendant took my order, I decided to check out the in-flight entertainment. There was a large selection of music and TV shows, but I went straight for the movies. I thought the movie selection was actually pretty thorough. I was given these noise canceling headphones and the sound was great. I was ready to get nice and cozy, so I adjusted my seat and laid back. My food arrived and it was all right. I mean, perhaps the quality has diminished a bit due to the pandemic, but listen, it was a long flight, so I was gonna eat the food regardless. Is this the type of dinner you'd expect in a business class long haul flight? Let me know in the comments. Let's get into this bathroom. I mean, it's like low key bigger than the bathroom in my New York City apartment. And it has a full length mirror. I don't know guys, I'm impressed. <laughs> it truly is the little things. I still had a long time left in my flight. So I pulled up my seat divider and decided to take advantage of this live flat bed and get some sleep. <laughs> Good night, y'all. See you on the flip side. All right, 
rise and shine y'all it's now early morning and the best part of waking up is more food (laughs) i selected the traditional english breakfast but a mushroom and spinach frittata was also available so what do you guys think about this breakfast let me know in the comments check this out how fancy is this the airbus a380 uses a rolls royce engine after a long flight from los angeles i've finally landed in london heathrow i have about a four and a half hour layover here in london heathrow so i'm gonna pass through the flight transfers and then head to the british airways club lounge Listen, if you've got some money to blow, this is the airport for you. So I finally made my way to the lounge and got a little snack. By the way, everything here is complimentary. And here's a peek at the menu. The lounge was super cute, but now it's time to board my flight to Johannesburg. The previous plane I took was an Airbus A380, but this is a Boeing 777, and oh my god, it was packed. My seat felt a tad more narrow than the previous flight, and I had noticeably less storage space. There was also someone sitting in the seat next to me, but she ended up being super cool. So if you haven't figured me out by now, I went straight for the menu. (laughs) The beverage selections were the same as the previous flight, but they did add a little, you know, razzle dazzle to the meal options. They offered an avocado and edamame super green salad as a starter and a choice of either roasted pork British chicken tikka masala or vegan cottage pie as the dinner. So my British chicken tikka masala arrived and um, I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. Tell me in the comments what you think about this meal. I would love to hear your opinions. I'm going to keep mine to myself. Fast forward about 11 hours, it's now early morning and it's almost time to finally land in Johannesburg. I know I look rough, but (laughs) cut me some slack. I've been traveling for a long time and you know I woke up to more food. I really, really needed to freshen up, so I busted open that complimentary amenity kit, which came with actually a lot of really nice products. It's almost time to land, guys. Thanks so, so much for flying with me. My trip to South Africa was amazing. Please take a moment to like this video, and I'd absolutely love if you subscribed. All right, guys, I'll see you for my next video.